Well, folks, I gotta say, Iowa's first season has been one of the hardest seasons I've ever hunted. Um, you know, it, it it just proves that it doesn't matter uh, how good your calling is, how good you feel your woodsmanship is. Sometimes it's hard. It just uh, it was rough this year. Um, went to Southern Iowa and hunted with my buddy Kurt Hauk. And we hunted as hard as we possibly could hunt and finally resorted to um, what they call reaping, basically belly crawling with a uh, fan in front of your face. And I crawled 200 yards into a field, had a gobbler break, break strut and come to me, got to 60 yards, and I just wasn't confident uh, in the shot. I was kind of, is it 60? Is it 70? Is it 50? I knew that if he got to a certain point, he'd be within range, and he just never got there. Uh, so I left southern Iowa. I headed back. I had two more days left. I headed home and uh, hunted up here in northeast Iowa. And fortunately, uh, we made it work. It got to be the last day, and I finally scored. And he's a pretty good gobbler. Uh, he's got a nice 10-inch beard. He's got inch and a quarter spurs and he weighs 20 pounds. A little light for up here. Um, normally our birds are around 25 pounds, um, but it's been a little bit of a rough spring for him so far. Got out there this morning, didn't hear much, got windy, it got cold, and I had had about enough. I slipped down the side of a ridge, was working my way down that ridge, and uh, struck him. And uh, he basically gobbled his way in. Um, popped up at 25 yards and I let him have it. Thanks for watching Victory Outdoor and I hope to bring you more and hopefully we'll get it on video. But when it's raining and nasty, it's a little hard to run a gun and run the video camera in that. And so hopefully we'll get a few nicer days and we'll actually get the hunt on film. But for now, I'm just glad that I filled my tag and it's on to Missouri next week.